When the negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians crashed down in 2000, it was a great disappointment for both sides. In one month, we lost 128 people, and people said to the government, enough is enough. We cannot live with such a level of terror. Do something, build something. The issue here is not whether Israel has the right to build a wall. It is whether it has the right to build the wall in the occupied Palestinian territory. Palestine's main point is that whatever security effects the wall might have could be secured by building the wall along the Green Line on Israeli territory. The situation on the ground is very discouraging. What are we doing? It's bad. You're telling me that the that Palestinians don't believe in international law. I, I can't help it. The wall is changing the status of the occupied Palestinian territory, causing demographic and other changes that will eliminate the possibility of the Palestinian people effectively exercising their right to self-determination. I would say to the Palestinians that you need to be so, so immensely patient with international law. If international law is not respected, then the alternative in the long run will be chaos. If you want to really destroy international law, bring more of those cases to the court and show how ineffective international law is. The United States was determined that the advisory opinion of the war on the war should be killed.